All right, group one, this is your reading on how deep was the betrayal, okay? So this is for anybody that has betrayed you and everything like that, uh, especially if you don't know all the details and everything. Um, We're going to get into it. We're going to get into the backstory. We're going to get into it, okay? So I'm going to start out with a song. I'm going to start out with a song. Come on, load. To give us like a, a consensus, a theme, like what this person's mind could have been at or whatever are these people. It could have been a group of people. Could be your family. Could be an ex-lover, an ex-friend, an ex-teacher or something. Mm. Choose Me by James Blake. I don't even know what that song sounds like. Choose Me. The title alone is saying a lot, but okay, let me go listen to this song so I can remember it, and then we're going to read the lyrics. So hold on. Okay, so I was listening to the song. It's pretty good. I haven't heard it in a long time. And the song give me like mixed signals as well. I feel like you're dealing with a person that uh, wanted to be in a relationship with you or uh, wanted you to choose them over somebody else. Um. But there's one part in the song that say, I'm not looking to hold you down. And I know that the singer is most likely meaning like, I'm not looking to like hold you back or whatever. But I took it as like this person was never looking to really be there for you to like hold you down to create something solid with you. And I felt like, but this person wanted that from you. So this person wanted a certain amount of commitment from you that they was not willing to give to you. Um, yeah, I really, now the song is not narcissistic, but the vibe that I'm getting from this person is narcissistic because I just feel like this is the type of person that they want you to either prove yourself to them. Uh, they want you to work hard to get them to like trust you or open up to you or to even treat you with any amount of respect. Let's go into the lyrics, okay? I looked into myself like a case with you. I also feel like you made this person feel insecure but I don't think that it was your fault I feel like this person just get insecure very easily I feel like this person get insecure with comparison and I feel like this person compare themselves with everybody like when they meet somebody they instantly comparing themselves to that person man or woman man or woman uh, you don't weigh me down like you think you do. I'm not looking to hold you down. See, I like I like this song because, you know, what I'm picking up from it, I don't feel like that's the intentions of the song. But what I'm getting from it is like this person want to let you know, like, you ain't getting under my skin like you think you do. Um, Like you, it's kind of like this person want to prove that you ain't winning. Yeah. Um, And this person was never looking to like hold you down. Like they was never looking to support you. They was never looking to uh, give you credit. Um they was always looking to compete with you, okay? Have I been unkind to you? Have I got a cloud in hell of mine? 
down goes to miss. So yeah, it's a feeling of this person could have get gotten demystified. I feel like um something about you did wake something up in this person. Like um, it's like saline going through your veins or something. Like I feel like this could this how this person could feel when they are interacting with you or they have some type of intense experience with you or something like that. They could feel like that. It could get chills and it would feel like that, like saline going through your body. Uh, when you keep me at my best, have I, have I, have I? So they ask him, have I been unkind to you? And you know what I'm getting from this? This person is a gaslighter. Like, and I also feel like this person is like passive aggressive. So this person um could like subliminally throw shade at you or some shit like that. Um uh disrespect you like on the low, but trying to make it seem like it's constructive criticism. Um always judging you or criticizing you but trying to make it seem like they trying to help you or something like that so you maybe for a long time you could have felt this energy but you couldn't like really see it because this person is always gaslighting you like if you was to ask a question about it they'd be like you too sensitive, you taking it wrong, or some shit like that. But that's not the case. That is not the case, okay? So this person is like, I feel like some shit on went down like a tower moment. And this person is turning around like, have I been unkind to you? Yes, bitch. Yes, you have. But this person will never like admit to it or something. Like this person, uh, and they also want to confuse you. This person could be acting like they always been supportive of you. They always wanted the best for you um, or some shit like that. Mm. Have I got a cloud in hell of mine? Down goes the mist. So I feel like, this person did have like a, a cloudy judgment of you, but I feel like it been demystified because um, I feel like this person was forced to see some truth about you or something like that. But beforehand, this person had a cloudy perception of you because that's how they wanted it. That's how they wanted it. When you keep me at my best. Um, I also get the vibe that this person, um, if you was to like, if you was very helpful to this person or you gave this person word of encouragement, I feel like you could have boost this person's ego in some type of way when you keep me at my best. Yeah, this person... And I also felt like this person really seeked out your approval. Like, this person really enjoyed, like, getting your approval and stuff like that. But I feel like they would deprive you of that. But they would take it from you. I'm also hearing, like, and they felt justified because maybe they felt like you didn't deserve it. This could have been somebody you was working with. And they was in a higher position than you or they was working at that company longer than you or something like that. And even though you doing just as good as a job as they are, they don't want to give you your credit because either they feel like you haven't worked. Somebody sang your old spirituals outside my window. Okay. So um, they don't feel like you put in enough work or something like that, or they refuse to see it because let's say that that person already been working up for 10, 
10 years and you only been working there for two years, but you're doing a hell of a good job. And let's say that um, years later, you still there. So now you at your 10 year mark, but they are at day 20 or whatever. They still won't give you credit. They, they keep pushing the bar higher for you to reach. They keep doing that so that you will never reach it. I'd rather you choose me. This person do want to be chosen by you. Like, this person wants you to choose them. And I feel like they could be manipulating shit to get that to happen. Um, I know there are places I can't go with you. So this person know that um, you have boundaries up with them now. Have I, you say that all these flowers bloom. I don't want to run a rain past you. If this person like talked to you about marriage before and stuff like that, they was never like serious about it. Um, like they was never serious about it. I'd rather you choose me every day. So this person with this part, I don't want to run a rain past you. I feel like um, this person didn't want to give you no real commitment, even if it was just a friendship. This person wasn't willing to give you a genuine friendship, um, but they still want you. They still want to be number one to you, but they will put you last. This is the type of motherfucker that. They will put you last every chance that they get because it boosts their ego. But they want you to put them first. I look into myself like a case for you, with you. You make this person really look. I feel like you trigger this person. You trigger this person real bad. You don't weigh me down like you think you do. I'm not... Looking to hold you down, yada, yada, yada. When you need me at the best, I'd rather you choose me every day. I'd rather you choose me. You don't owe me anything. What would I want back from you? I feel like this is something that this person could say. Especially if you was like in an argument in front of other people, this person could make it seem like, you know, I don't... I don't need anything from you. That's the vibe. Like, I don't need anything for you. Like, who are you? This person could be trying to, like, discredit you in some type of way. Like, trying to make you irrelevant in some type of way. Like, like they better than you or something like that. So why would they need anything from you? Like, you can't give them anything. This person will also make you feel like you don't have nothing to contribute to their life okay and it could even be saying some shit like you know i was giving you a chance or whatever like that but really you not valuable to me you know i don't think that is true because this person still wants you to choose them and everything but they want to make you feel like that they want to make you feel like you're not valuable mm. um What could I want back from you? I will come and pay for it on any day, on any day you choose. Hmm. They will come and pay for it. Ooh, I'm actually hearing that. Uh, ooh, baby. This person could have spread some type of rumor or something that like you was like a prostitute or something like that, or you was dealing with people for money or something like that this person could have if you was intimate with this person this person could be telling people like they pay for it even though it would make people look at them in a certain type of way they feel like the people will look at you even worse and that's why they are saying that um, this person could even be saying that you asked them for money Mm. This person could be saying that um 
they could have been talking about your finances, like how you don't have no money, and you broke. I feel like this person really try to like put you down, like uh, to other people. Like this person try to make like like they try to make people look at you in a different way. Um. So if you have people coming up to you and they acting funny or something like that. Or you have people saying like weird shit about you or whatever. It's because of this person. This person is going around um, saying some really wild shit. Like really wild shit. Like don't put nothing past this person. Don't put nothing. Okay. Because as soon as you fall into the trap of. I, I don't think they would do all of that. Like they can't be that bad. Yeah, yes, they is. They that bad. They that fucking bad. But I get the feeling though. You be wanting to think best of people. You want to be. You want to think better of them. But they not. They not that. <laughs> you be thinking better of them while they out there slandering you and shit like that. So. All right, I rather you choose me. It's repeating the thing. All right, let's go into the. Oh, let's go into the cars, child. All right. My deepest of betrayal. Oh, child. Oh, I feel like these came out prematurely. I feel like this person was attracted to you, though. Even wanted to be in a relationship with you, but they wanted you to be, like, insecure. And I feel like because this person don't, like, trust people. So they wanted to make you extremely insecure. I think they even wanted to take away from the way that you look. Like this person wanted you to not look as good. Like this person might have wanted you to either gain weight or lose a lot of weight or something like that. Um, they wanted to take away from your beauty. God damn, bro. This person really wanted you like bagging like on your knees or something. Um, this person wanted to isolate you. They didn't want nobody. They didn't want you to have nobody to be there for you. They didn't want you to have no friends. They didn't want to have you. They didn't want you to have no family. Or nothing. This person wanted to break you. And then they was hoping that you come to them and bag them for like a chance or opportunity or something like that. Because they wanted you to choose them. But this person wanted to break you first. Mm. It's because they thought you was too confident. And that was just... It made them feel too insecure, you being confident. Mm -mm -mm. All right, how deep is the. Oh, Lord. How deep is the betrayal? How deep is the betrayal? The same cars came out, yo. Yo, real strong. Oh, the same damn cars came out. The ones I shuffled back in. <sighs> First car that came out, the lovers reverse. Listen, if you was in a relationship and you and that person broke up or whatever, this person has something to do with it. Um, let's see how. 
how they have something to do with it. How they have something to do with it. Spell work. Spell work, yo. Yo, 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 and motherfucking yo. They have spell work. Like, let's say that, you know, at the end of your relationship with whoever you was with and everything, that you felt like that person just changed. They became a completely different person. They became more stubborn. You know, you wasn't able to work shit out with them. And they might not have never been that bad before. It's because of the shit that the person you asking about was doing. They was doing spell work. This came up reversed though. Damn. Ooh. Hold on. Let me reverse this camera. Cut on my end. Y'all ain't gonna see no difference on your end. Yo, I feel like this came out reverse because I feel like it worked. It worked. But it was supposed to, like, I felt like whoever that you was in a relationship with and y'all broke up or something like that, you were supposed to break up with that person to bring in some internal love. So this person actually helped you to fuck out, but they didn't see it like that at the time. They thought they was just destroying your relationship. Ooh, and bitch, and they was so fucking happy about it. Let me tell you the truth. They they were so fucking happy. If you was in a relationship and you and that person broke up and this person was behind the scene, like doing spell work and shit, and they seen that you and that person broke up, boy, I mean, they felt powerful. They felt like giddy as fuck. They might even had a whole motherfucking party. I'm telling you, this motherfucker went and celebrated doing this shit. I'm fucking telling you the truth, yo. This motherfucker went and celebrated. Because they thought that they was destroying your life and it made them feel so good. It made them feel so good. Mm, mm, mm. And that was like just the first step. Um, this could also apply if um if you was like dating a person and then everything was going good at some point and then shit just started to go bad or whatever, or you was out dating and whatnot and shit just started ugh, i can't stand that broom being in the camera um but shit just always go wrong or whatever it's because this person was doing shit to your love life they wanted to separate they didn't want nobody to be attracted to you But what came up upright is this right here. I felt like that was all supposed to like happen. Like this person low key kind of help you. Um, like they remove the people that um you wasn't supposed to be with and whatnot like that. But it could have been like a very painful and traumatic situation. Um, how you know if this would apply to you is that you would feel like it was weird as fuck. Like how people was treating you, how shit was going and everything like that. You might be used to uh, people trying to talk to you and stuff when you go out. And then all of a sudden, you know, that doesn't happen or whatever. Like this person was doing shit to you to like block off your energy to other suitors. But I feel like, those suitors or whatever they wasn't uh supposed to be in your life so this person uh saved you a lot of time you know and frustration or whatever but in the meantime 
though, behind the scenes, they was feeling like they was winning. They was feeling like, you know, like they could do anything, get away with anything or whatever. And I feel like the universe was like setting them up. I think the universe was setting them up because this person felt really good about the shit that they was doing to you. Okay, with the three of wands, through careful planning, a goal, a project, long in your dreams will be realized. A new business or ideal assured. Um, This person did want to work with you, okay? They just wanted to break you first. Yo, they wanted you to give your soul to them. Like, I'm literally hearing that. This person wanted you, if you, I feel like this person wanted to do some ritual with you or something like that, um, to even like bind you to them or something like that, but they wanted to, they, it was some crazy shit, whatever they wanted to do. They had some plans though. They been plotting and planning on your ass for like a long motherfucking time. And they wanted you. They did. They wanted you real bad. What was their plans? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What old car is that? Hmm? Oh. What was their plans? Hmm. Look at this, bro. Look at this. They wanted to have control of you. They wanted to make you into like some type of zombie. I'm hearing sex slave, yo. 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 And this person wanted to do you dirty. They really did. They wanted to like dog you out for real. Like they wanted to make you into some type of sex slave and stuff. Uh, They couldn't. I, I'm hearing like they wanted to pimp out your energy as well. Like they wanted to pimp it out to like other people who could have been like interested in your energy. Oh, bitch. They really wanted to have like control over you, but this came out reverse. So it did not work. Um, They wanted to keep you in a toxic negative cycle or whatever. I'm really, this person could have really wanted to like traffic you or something, like for real. Damn, bro. This person wanted you to be so insecure that you just let them do whatever they wanted to do to you. And this person, ooh, bitch. This person had some of the sadist, most sadistic shit going on in their head about what they wanted to do to you. This person really wanted to degrade you. Like they could have wanted to pee on you or something. Or. Child. Almost, I almost threw up child. Ooh child. This person could have wanted to to throw up on you oh lord have mercy oh yeah and not just that they wanted you to be in multiple third parties i feel like this person they wanted to have like a legion of females and stuff like that you could have had even seen this person do this shit to other people yo if you ever seen like people around this person and they just seem to be like out of it and they just seem to like worship this person and do whatever this person tell them to do. Uh, like on the outside looking in, it might look like a person with like a battle woman syndrome or something like that. It could look like that on a psychological level. But really, these people was like under some heavy spell work. God damn, bro. Some of these people could have had abandoned their families. Abandoned their kids.
these people are in some type of sunken place. They don't even know why they're doing some of the shit that they're doing. They don't even know why. And I'm talking about this person do people like dirty. I mean, God, damn, this person uh, is really sick in the head. Like they really sick in the head. So you got the reservation card, but it came out reverse, desire, worth, extravagance. Mm. What I'm getting from this card is that um, this person, they wanted to put you on reserve whenever they wanted to. They wanted to be able to like put you in like a toy chest and then be able to take you out whenever they want to use you. This person, I'm telling you, this was a deep desire. <clears throat> this was a deep desire in this motherfucker to be able to have control of you and to be able to do whatever they want to you. It was a deep desire. This person wanted this so bad, yo. Mm, 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 mm. They really did. They wanted it so bad. It's like um, a kid being excited about Christmas. This person, because I really felt like this person thought that it was going to get you, especially after they seen the spell work work on your relationships. When they seen the spell work work on your relationships, they was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got this in the back. They motherfucker thought they had you, okay? And I mean, they were celebrating. Oh, boy, they were celebrating and everything. Like, it would excite them so much. Like, they dick would just get hard. This is a masculine. They dick would just get hard, you know, just thinking about all the ways they was going to mistreat your ass. All the ways they was going to, like, like dog you out. This person had a strong desire to dog you out. I want to know why. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what cars to use. Hmm. Let's look these. Why this person wanted to dog you out so bad? I'm going to shuffle these real good. This motherfucker could have started drooling. Thinking about how they was going to, what they was going to do to you and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. This person, they, they really, they wanted you real bad in a toxic way, but they wanted you real bad. Like they wanted to have you like in their arsenal or something like that. Like they wanted to have you in their bag. Okay. Why this person wanted to dog you out? Uh, they thought you was just too damn confident. Mm. You know what? This person was jealous. Mm, mm, mm. I think that this person, if you got your father in your life, like, your, you... You close to your your dad and whatnot. This person was extremely jealous of that. This person could have even attacked that relationship. Like, let's say that you had a time in your motherfucking life that you and your father, like, let's say that you 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 a um daddy girl or something like that. 
but all of a sudden your your dad is not there for you your dad don't have your back your dad is not understanding you your dad is being cold to you this person was doing that shit this person wanted to take that away from you because they was extremely jealous of that shit they was so jealous that you had your father in your life mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, for some of you this could be a woman this could be but I feel like if it is a woman it's a masculine woman like maybe even a stud or just a woman that's really strong in her masculine energy and being toxic as fuck yeah because this person had a very traumatic childhood this person was jealous of the love that you had in your... I'm talking about everybody who loved your ass. This person was jealous. They was so envious of how people felt about you, how people treated you, how people respond to you. This person was envious of that. They wanted to take that away from you, and they wanted you to never be able to receive that shit again. So this person wanted to isolate you, take you away from everybody who ever cared about you or love you and everything like that. And then they wanted to break you, ruin your reputation, your image and everything so that other people would feel like you don't deserve to have love. They wanted to completely deprive you of any love any support um this is a child magical card came out in shadow pessimism depression and disbelief in miracles believing that energy and action are not required for growth yeah this person had a very traumatic childhood and this person might not like this person do spell work, but they don't believe in like uh, a higher authority or anything like that. Um, they don't believe in any reason to be good to people. Like uh, this is type of motherfucker who doesn't believe in karma. They don't think they're going to get their karma back. But I'm... <laughs> but they will preach this shit you know this is the type of motherfucker that will tell everybody else like you should be careful how you treat people because that karma is going to come and get your ass and this motherfucker don't even believe in it but they want other people to believe in it because they want people to think twice about how they treat them but it's a tactic it's a way to get people to treat them with kindness and respect and everything and believe that they have the same motherfucking principles, but they don't, you know? So that, so that they can be at an advantage and stuff like that. And they use that as a gaslighting tactic because... You know, they want you to, when they do some shady shit to you, some fucked up shit to you, they want it to make it hard for you to believe that just because they talk about karma and shit like that. Just because you think that they believe that if they mistreat people, they will get that back, but they don't believe in that. They don't believe in that for real. I feel like they starting to believe Mm, 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 mm. saboteur card highlights your fear of self-empowerment mm, and the changes it will bring to your life this person do not i'm talking about this motherfucker don't grow they don't change this person is so fucked up inside i'm telling you this person is a really evil motherfucker okay <laughs> god damn and 
it's not even safe to be compassionate towards this motherfucker right here because because mm. I'm picking up like before I pause well when I was pausing I was thinking about like this person is really heavy in occultism like very very heavy in it this person could be a part of a cult or something like that um this person they believe in magic like they believe in what magic can do because they seen it work for them uh it's something that they use to make themselves feel powerful it's something that they use to get what they want out of people this person it don't take not much for them to decide to put a spell on somebody and to curse them they it's like um second nature it's like second nature to them like they don't give a fuck about nobody and it's all about control to them this person want to be see okay that made me think that this person like in their childhood they must have been severely deprived of a lot like deprived of love deprived of respect deprive of protection i feel like this person had a very traumatic childhood and i feel like they still there like i feel like this person is still like stunted at a child level um they are like dormant or something um Uh, this person do have nightmares. I don't think they just have nightmares. I think that they be hunted. I think they be hunted in a way that um, they might have to kind of like cage themselves in in a, in a way. Like, you know, uh, if you was to go to their house, they could have like a lot of symbolism around but all of this is like maybe sigils or something to protect them from some type of entity or something it's something that is hunting them and it's been hunting them for a long time i want to dig deeper into that This person might even sleep like with the light on or something like that. Could they be scared sometimes? Um, this person might don't like to be alone. So like this person might always have people around. I also hearing like this person do not sleep. Like they really they barely sleep. Okay, tell me more about whatever is hunting them. That's too many cars, y'all. Tell me about what is hunting them. Probably the same damn cars. I feel like this person has like a lot of enemies. I feel like this person has a lot of enemies. Um, people that are also into mysticism and occult and stuff like that. And I feel like uh a lot of these people send spell work towards this person to like make them sick. And whatnot.
this person has such enemies that it's some people that want them dead for real Mm. I'm getting a strong feeling with these cars right here. These cars, come on now. Come on. These cars right here that this person went rogue. I feel like this person was a part of something. And they went rogue. Like they went, they deviated from the plan. Like there was a another mission. A mission that like they could have been a part of a coven. Cause I feel like, but this person is not loyal to nobody but themselves. So I feel like they could have had been initiated into some type of covenant or something like that just because they wanted to learn certain things but they wanted to utilize it to make themselves empowered this person want like alt they wanted like ultimate power okay um but a lot of the stuff that this person did to you a lot of stuff that this person did to you they wasn't supposed to Like, I feel like um, this person joined some type of coven that they hunt down divine people. Now, it's a lot of these covens around, okay? A lot of them are in Africa. Be that as it may. Um, but these people will literally be sent out to make, to break divine people. But this person, yeah, I feel like they was supposed to break you and they would get something from that but at some point it went from them wanting to break you to make you a slave to them um and I feel like there was a another reason it, it was another plan of why this covenant wanted to break you but this person was like you know what nah I want this person I want this person to myself mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I don't know with this this card right here. The vibe that I'm getting is that um this person was going to break you regardless. Um and then like initiated you in some type of way or something like that. Uh, maybe even make you the queen of their evil ass world or some shit like that. But they was not gonna treat you well, and they was gonna always belittle you and make you feel less than. Okay. Um, because this person is an abuser, especially emotionally, but with these flames and stuff, it could also be physically and stuff like that. Damn, I really feel like this person has bodies. Okay. Um, but this person was going to make it seem like once they break you and bring you in to whatever they trying to bring you into, they was going to tell you like some of the plans of like this covenant. But the reason why they wanted to tell you is because they wanted to make you feel like you should be appreciative of them, almost like they, they saving you because maybe the covenant wanted to kill you or something like that. And this person like, no, I don't want to kill you. I want to use you, okay? I want to use and abuse you. I don't want to kill you, though. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, Covenant. Some damn reptilians or some shit like that. I don't know. Dracons, whatever. Um... With this card, I'm feeling like it's just representing, like, they philosophy for one these are very like mental people they're not spiritual even though they practice mysticism occultism and stuff like that they're not spiritual people i think that they lack something to make them truly spiritual 
And that's why they are so dependent on these rituals because a, a truly spiritual person is not just dependent on rituals. You see how this person in this picture is like side iron? They look like they side iron somebody or whatever. I feel like this is somebody in the covenant. I feel like a long time ago, like when this person started to like do certain shit to you or whatever, it was motherfuckers watching. It was people like watching this motherfucker like, mm-hmm, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I see what you're trying to do. It was motherfuckers watching, and I think that these these people didn't like them. Hold on, let me let me see. How did these people? What did they think about this person? What did they think about this person? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. they knew that this person was like effectuated with you they knew that this person was attracted to you even though I feel like this person could have like lied about it or whatever they also started to feel like this person is obsessed with you in a way that is not helpful to the cause whatever cause that they had so these motherfuckers was looking at them like mm -hmm, nigga we know what you really want. We know what you really want. Dang, I'm even hearing something. Like some dudes arguing and they being like, man, just tell the truth, man. You want to fuck that girl, don't you? And they are like, nah, man. Nah, I'm just trying to do. I'm, tr I'm just trying to do the plan and stuff like that. And these people is looking at them like, nah, nah. Nah, it's something more to this. It's something more to this right here. I think that these people even might have started getting suspicious. Like, um, like suspicious, like this person would have like ran off with you or something like that. And, um, Uh, spilled all the beans which I feel like this was what that person was planning on doing but they had other sadistic plans too um they learned something about your energy they learned something about your energy that is very powerful and they felt like they could build a lot off of it um but these people are like looking at this person <laughs> they could have been smoking together too like they they smoking a joint together. And this motherfucker's like, man, what you doing, man? Like, what is you doing? Like, is you even doing the plan or whatever? Like, because the way that you acting, man, I think that this girl got you in your feelings or something. Is you falling in love with this motherfucker? You know you're supposed to kill her. And this dude just like, nah, man, nah. They could have been saying all types of shit. Like, they could have been saying that you was ugly. They could have been saying that, oh, that's not my type. They could have been saying, they could have been saying all types of shit, okay? But, you know, the whole time, like, this person, it was something about this person and the way that they reacted to you or something that really told on their ass. It told on them. So, yeah, people, oh, yeah, so the Ten of Pentacles came out when I was asking, like, what these people was, like, thinking or whatever. They was thinking, like, this person really want to be with you or something like that when this person was probably supposed to, like, try to kill you or something. Mm, 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 mm.
I don't know why so many cars come out, man. <clears throat> what do you people? Spirit, spirit, why now? Okay, I'll take these. Lord have mercy. Like the cars, I just be trying to shuffle and your cars just will just fall out. Um, I can't let anyone see me like this. I know I have to face my problems. I want to hide away. I feel like I feel like this person got love struck by you and they could not hide it and they was trying to. I wonder will we ever have our happy ending? Do you feel the same about me? Is it time to move on? I may have found the one. I'm falling deeply in love with them. I'm competing with an older version of myself. I feel stagnant. So these people wasn't just looking at this motherfucker like, um, is you in love with this bitch? Because you know you're supposed to kill her. <laughs> and this person up here uh, trying to act like, you know, that ain't what it is and stuff like that, but yet they like obsessing over your pictures or something like that or they always talking shit about you and people are just like damn like you talking shit but you talking about this person a lot you know um I think this person might have even made like some type of joke like you know like you know what if me and her got into a relationship together like what if we and people they laughed about it but people was like really side out in this person like dude what is your intentions also um mm, that's related to the song what's what card is making me feel this this right here um you started to make this person feel insecure mm. and that's what really like alarm people they like bruh like let's say that you seen this person in the office or something like that and they was wearing like some type of funny shirt or something like that and they ask you what you think about it and you be like well it's okay and everything but it ain't really my my style or whatever and this person like go change their shirt, they shirt. And they will come back and be like, oh, I spilt something on it or whatever. <laughs> but really, it's because you didn't like the shirt. So they went and go change like their whole shirt or people was noticing how this person like act different around you and stuff like that. It just started to show. It started to show how like this person really felt. And I feel like this is tied into, I'm hearing superiority, but uh, it's tied into why this person, like, they wanted to dog you out. It's like they kind of wanted to prove something to themselves, but they also wanted to prove something to other people. I feel like this person even wanted to make you look like you was desperate and you would do anything to be with them. Um, this person really wanted you to be in that light because they wanted to prove something to other people. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, bro. Mm -mm -mm. yeah this person wanted to make you a damsel uh this person was also like fucking with your money and stuff like that they wanted to dry up your money uh i the person wanted you to be like dependent on them that's what they wanted. And they didn't want nobody to help you. 
they didn't want nobody to love you and they wanted you to see them as like the only they wanted you to cling on to them that's what they wanted they wanted you so bad but they looked at you like an object that they was like obsessed you know it's like having like a barbie doll and stuff like that and but that's they looked at you like this person could have been like attracted to you this person just wanted to do whatever they wanted to do to you like I really this person had like a lot of sexual fantasies but a lot of them was like real dark like this person had like fantasies of you being unconscious while they just do shit to you Mm -mm. yeah that was like one of their biggest fan uh, fantasies because they didn't want you to look at them while they did the things that they fantasizing about so they this person had a lot of fantasies of knocking you out and having their way with like your body and stuff like that. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy, 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 boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, they also wanted to make you look at them like they somebody who is trying to rescue you um, and stuff like that. This person also did like a lot of spying on you. Um, yeah, I, I was hearing this earlier, but spirit is like reminding me. Um, this person knows something about like your childhood. Uh, this person could be like talking to family members or something, but I actually feel like this person have records. Okay. Um, you know, like in public schools, like they keep like a record of you and stuff like that. They keep files, folders and stuff on you. This person could have access to that. This person could have access to your family members as well because for some reason this person feel like they have embarrassing stories on you or something like that. Um, You might have even heard this person like hint at certain things mm, because they was trying to use it as a mechanism to weaken you. So let's say that this person was like talking behind your back and they was talking to somebody in your family and their family member told them about an embarrassing time that you like peed on yourself or something like that. And this person would come around. Like, let's say that this, this particular situation, you didn't just pee on yourself, but you peed on yourself in the middle of a crowd. Like this was something that still haunts you. It still makes you feel, uh, like you still feel like when you think about it, um, it's something that really triggers you and stuff like that. Cause let's say that people started to make fun of you and people made fun of you for years or something like that. Like it's something that was pretty traumatic to you. This person will come up to you and be like, um, yeah, have you ever had a situation of like you like um peeing on yourself or something like that because you know I know of a friend and uh they went through something like that would you know anything of that but this person is really trying to like trigger you you know and even make you think like this person 
I I'm getting the vibe that this person low key wanted you to be paranoid about what they know. This person could have even wanted you to think that you that that they was like reading your mind or something. This person wanted you to be like intimidated by them. Mm -mm -mm. Conceals his emotions, a very intelligent but dangerous man, cruel and self centered. He plots against you, sadistic and manipulative. Enjoys causing suffering and trouble. Looks out only for his own interests. Watch out for his actions. It could be a, a male over 40 or almost 40 or something like that. It could be something like that. But this really summarized this person personality really well. But this person is really sadistic. Like this person really, and I also get the vibe that this person could even mimic you. Like, and they know things about you. Like this person know things about you. So this person could come up to you and be like, Oh, yeah, have you read this book? But this person the whole time is looking at your whole book record, every book that you ever read or something like that. So this person, like, they go through the information, find some type of common ground, come and present it to you so that you could think that you and this person is similar. Um, this person was planning on coming in and out your life because it's, it was a technique. So this person could have already did that. Like one minute, this person could have like made you feel like they was really there for you or something like, you know, y'all was really connected or something like that. And then all of a sudden this person, and I don't think they would have just like walked out your life. I feel like they would have did something that confused you. And then walked out your life. Maybe even made you feel like, you know, it was your fault. But this person, I'm telling you, like, this person would plan this shit out days before it even happened. Because they was trying to break you. They wanted to break you. Relentless pursuit of money, financial problems, loss of values. You examine and change your goals in life. See, yeah, uh, that part right there. You examine and change your goals in life. Yeah, this is them going rogue. They deviated from whatever original plan that they have. And that's because um, they got too deep into their fantasies. A new love or recounter romance may be just an illusion of happiness. You lost something real and enduring if you chase this. You lose something real and enduring if you chase this illusion. Money will not make you happy. Either get in touch with your. Oh, will not make you happy either. Get in touch with your core values, which this motherfucker don't have any. Uh, the core values could also represent like the values of whatever covenant this person was a part of. Because I feel like this person was a part of some type of organization. And they was hoping to get paid. And you know what? I feel like they would have got paid uh, good money if they was able to take you out. Um, But this person started to make different plans though and this person thought that um they could still like they wouldn't take you out so the covenant wouldn't give them that money but they felt like just having your energy around will accumulate that money anyways so this person do see you valuable 
but it just they see you as a tool for them to use for them to get ahead and you to get nothing I'm also hearing like this person wanted to use your skills, your talents, um, mm -mm -mm, and they wanted to put their name on it. So, and this person could have known about your talents. Like this person, I feel like this person had a record of you. They could have had a record of your creativity, shit that you could have draw or written or whatever. So they knew what you could produce. But this person wanted for you to produce shit for them and they put their name on it and take ownership and claim it. Ooh, bitch. And give you like no credit. And they wanted to brainwash you into giving them all the credit. This person... Mm -mm. and you know what they thought they was going to get away with it why because they really seen you they saw you as this queen of cups and i feel like from the information that they know about you they know that you a sucker for love like they know that this person um was either trying to or did use like your deepest insecurities against you um and they was gonna always deprive you like they was always they wanted you to be like this with them but it was going to always be like this with you. I'm hearing something. They know they might be talking to like an ex of yours that was a narcissist. And but this person could have been sent towards you. Like uh, it could have been somebody in your past that you dealt with and they was a narcissist. Um. Because I felt like they was talking to people from your past in order to gain certain information from you so they could better deceive you and trick you into things. So this person, and you might have even seen like similarities because they have talked to each other. They had talked to each other. They could have even paid this person to give them information about you. And they was learning of ways to um, emotionally manipulate you. They wanted to take advantage of your heart. They knew, they knew that you have a big heart and they, they saw that as your weak spot. But see, this person, they don't understand healing and growth and change. They don't get it because they don't do it. They are incapable of that shit. So, and they they kind of look at everybody kind of the same. They kind of look at everybody kind of robotic. Like everybody have certain buttons that you could push. Because they, really, they was really confident that they was able, that they was going to be able to get away with whatever they was doing. They was really confident in it because they saw you like this. And they felt like all they had to do really was to like break your heart a few times and then come in like they trying to rescue you or something like that to like gaslight you and confuse you and stuff like that. And they just thought that um, they was going to be able to get in control of you. That's what they thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do they think of you now?
What do they think? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. This person is trying to find ways to get close to you. All I need is an opportunity. I'll do whatever it takes to succeed, even hurting the people I care about. Actually, what I'm getting from this card is some really heavy emotions. This person, I'm hearing hate. This person hates you now. Mm. I mean, they are seething. Woo, child, they are seething. And they want to deceive you so bad. And you know, it's... I would say be careful and everything, but understand that you are protected because um, this person is going like insane. Uh, you could also be giving this person like silent treatment. You're not giving to them as much as you used to. But this person want to disrupt your peace. This person could try to come and apologize to you. I know I've been misleading in the past, but I'm ready to show that I can be trusted. I'm ready to tell the truth. Um, this person might give you partial truths as well to make it seem more sincere, but that's not their intentions. What are their intentions? I'm going to shuffle these real good. All right, what is this person's intentions with you? Okay, hold on. Uh, give me more clarity. I want to shuffle all these cards back in. All right, give me more clarity. This person know about your twin flame. Mm -hmm. Mm-mm-mm. 
I damn near want to smoke a joint, child. All right, this person is really watching your ass right now. Not just you, but also like your twin flame. And then what came out after that is this card. This person really don't want you and your twin to come close to each other. I feel like that was like part of the mission when it comes to like this covenant. They were supposed to keep you separate from your twin anyways but now see it's supposed to be in business okay now they feel personal about it it's real personal to them um i feel like this person also wanted to like get you pregnant you got to be careful with this person you know, especially if y'all have like mutual friends or something like that, this person could be trying to like set you up in a way that they drug you, uh, do something to your body and you wake up and a few months later you pregnant or something like that. And you don't even know how the fuck you got pregnant because from your recollections, you haven't been intimate with nobody, but this person, they want to do some shit like that to you. Um, Oh, child. Um, this person still want to be with you, though. But they want to be with you to prove some type of point. This person could be trying to do, like, heavy love spells on you. Um, so when I was asking for clarity about the twin or whatever like that, um, I mean, he knows some things. This person knows some things about you and your twin and what y'all supposed to be doing together. But this person is doing spell work to cause like confusion uh, to keep people locked into fear, whatever it takes to keep these people from coming towards each other or whatever. So this person know your twin. Um, it's something else, though. They could be trying to plan some type of robbery, and it could be, like, on your twin. Because I was also getting this card right here. Uh, this person want to take something away from your twin. They are part of something. That either they trying to get evidence or something like that. But they trying to make this person unlucky. They also trying to take something, an opportunity, some money or something away from this person. And, like, if you don't know your twin, but you feel like you have one, uh, this person know about that person, okay? Right now, they collecting shit. They collecting, like, evidence. They doing, like, private investigating type shit or whatever. Um, they could be trying to plan some type of robbery or something. They could be working with family members with fake ass friends and shit like that they also is trying to curse this shit but it's not taken and they feel they feel it's a strong feeling coming from this card because they it's like they just cannot understand they don't understand like why shit ain't working I want to dig deeper into that, that emotion. Like, tell me more about that.
Um, hmm. Uh, this person is trying to pull you towards them and they seeing that it's not working because you are not coming towards them. Not just that, but you still see them in the same light. Like you could have made up your, your mind that you're not fucking with this person. And you see them for what they are. And they was doing spell work on making you feel like doubtful about that or whatever. They might want to make you come and apologize to them or take back what you said or some shit like that. Um, They could also like check people energy. Mm. Uh, There's some type of technology out there like it could be utilized on any camera, like a camera on a phone, this camera right here. But um, a lot of these covenants and stuff like that, they have access to this technology. But they could, through this camera, they could scan your body and see like what is going on with you energetically. They could even see if you are energetically attaching to like your twin or something like that. They could see that. Um, they could see at the changes that it could be making to your energy and everything. Like it would look like something like a like they could be looking through this camera right now, and uh, all they would see is like a it could look like an infrared camera or something like that. Um, what is really is looking at like your Kundalini energy. Um, I believe it could even see your aura. So they are monitoring. They are monitoring you. Looking at your aura. And they seeing that, you know, whatever they throwing at you is not penetrating it. It's not working. Um... They stressed out about it. They so stressed out about it that uh, they could have even attempted to come towards you physically. Like they could have had attempted to harm you in a physical way or something like that or either uh, pay some other people to do it and stuff. But I feel like people are turning their backs on this person. So they kind of have to do shit themselves. But something happened. Something happened and they know that it's spiritual. They know that it's spiritual. Like when this person tried to come towards you, something happened. Like their car would break down um, or they would get extremely sick or something or um, some type of emergency would happen where they can't come towards you and they know that it's spiritual so right now this person is actually doing spell work they're trying to remove your protection that's what they're trying to do not just you but your twin what is it about the twin what is it about this What is it about the twin flames?
Mm. What I really get in is that they feel like if you was to get together with your twin flame, um, it would uh go against the shit that they've been saying about y'all. I feel like this is what they've been saying about your twin unemotional nature, a sensual person who stresses the phys physical side of life, worldly and jaded, life holds no surprises for this person, attractive and well-dressed, he might deceive you and is not as he appears, do not trust this man with your heart, he will break it. So I feel like this is what they were saying about your twin, and this is what they saying about you. A peonated woman, volatile, changing moods, narrow-minded, but got it, unforgiving attitude toward those who looks down upon, those she looked down upon, takes without giving, gives only when something is to be gained. She has a strictly materialistic outlook on life. Be suspicious of this woman. This person was behind the scenes spreading these type of rumors these type of narratives and they just feel like they just can't handle it they can't handle it they really can't they really can't handle it they can't handle it if you was to get together with your twin it will fuck them up it will fuck them up they feel like they will lose everything that they work for that's what they feel like they will feel like you will be looked at like this and they just it's like they can't take that. They can't take that. And I think it's because they wanted you so damn bad for like their own personal gain and shit like that. And they really thought they was going to get it. It's like you been gone all day, but you know you have some leftover food and you know that food is good. It is delicious and whatever. You just been, your mouth been watering and you been wanting it so bad and you get home and somebody else don't eat that motherfucker, you know? I feel like it's a pride and ego thing at this point though. This is what it is. It's a pride and ego thing. They feel like they just cannot let this happen. Um, they also know that something um divine will happen because I feel like that's the whole purpose for twin flames or whatever. It's supposed to bring like balance to humanity in some type of way. Um And this person was able to destroy twin flames before. That's why they was even put on this mission. Because they're usually really good at this shit. They was able to do this before. It's really fucking them up to feel like they failed. They feel like they failed. They feel like... Um, they losing their rep when it comes to this organization and stuff like that because how is the organization looking at this person damn that flew out damn <laughs> like I wish I seen how that car flew out like it literally like just flew out on its own mm. limits on your income oh they ain't fucking with this motherfucker they stopped paying them they stopped paying this person because they did not do what they said. And they found out that this person had plans to do other shit that it was not supposed to be doing. Mm -mm -mm. Limits on your income show no signs of improvement. Oh, this person don't have that protection anymore. They don't have the 3D protection that they used to have. They used to have it. So this person will like get away with all types of crazy shit. This person got fucking bodies that these organizations know about. This person, they know that this person be out there sacrificing people and killing people and shit. But this person won't go to jail because they was they had the protection of this covenant. They don't have it no more. They don't have it no more. Mm mm mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
bad debts and missed payments. Also, I feel like this person debt, because I'm hearing credit cards. This person could have had accumulated like large credit card debts, okay? And wasn't worrying about paying it because they had the protection of this motherfucking covenant as long as this person was able to do the bidding, but they wasn't able to do it. So they lost their protection. So this this covenant, not just that, but they went against the covenant. So this covenant is kind of like wanting to punish this person. So I think that this person could even be like in a, a spiritual war with this covenant, you know, and they still focusing on trying to destroy your ass. You are out of control financially. Mm -mm -mm. So. Like this person could have had accumulated large credit card debts. Would never get a fucking letter in the mail because it was protected by this covenant. But they getting that shit now. They getting it now. And they stressed out about it. Cause they no longer had a protection. So now it matters if they have um certain documents, you know. It, they, they might have to get a job now but even that shit gonna be hard I think this person is like real fucked up they in a real weak state and they money is funny hella funny that could be why they planning on trying to rob somebody this person could be trying to plan to rob somebody it could be your twin um pass over for raise our bonus see money is lost due to lack of knowledge bad time to invest no support look at what i'm saying no support for business or financial plans slander or gossip about you circulates mm -mm -mm. This person ain't got the protection that they used to have and they're not protected by spirit like at all. They did too much crazy shit. And this protection, see, I don't know what the fuck this person was thinking. See, this person, they ego got too big, okay? Because if they was a smart motherfucker, they would have had never did any of this shit because this person really relied heavy on this protection even in like a spiritual way because i feel like this person constantly having spiritual attacks uh attacks on them because of shady shit that they did um and that might have been a reason why they even got with this covenant in the first place to help them to push back on some of the, the attacks and shit like that um but they don't have that no more this person could lose their life this person could lose their life let's get one more card how this coven is feeling about this person now one more now one more please don't one more Two came out. I'ma take it. I'ma take it, but mm, 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 mm. 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 If this person was doing something creative, um, I feel like they were still in that shit. They were still in like that creativity. They can't do that no more. See, this motherfucker is going to be stagnant. Like, let's say that you know this motherfucker and they like always producing songs and shit like that. It's because they were still in that energy. Now you're going to see this person like not being able to like produce music or not having the creativity that they used to have because they cannot, they don't have access Cause they used to be able to just take energy from people. Um, creativity, 
creative or intellectual rut, stagnation, movement in the wrong directions. Your need for human interaction creates problems, trusting the wrong people, talking too much, feelings of loneliness. A good idea would involve you and others in a new project and positive experience. Take a chance on a new. Um, I'm also getting from that card is that they are in the process of trying to get like initiated by a different covenant. They trying to do that. Like, they could be trying to petition this, like, through spirit. Um, like, I'm seeing a pentagram and somebody trying to, like, summon, like, a spirit or something like that. Um, this person, they going, they doing some extreme shit because they are afraid. Uh, someone protects your feelings instead of telling you the truth. Yeah, what I'm getting is that people are being secretive with this person now. Like people is kind of avoiding this person. People is not letting them in the loop anymore. Uh, one person in your relationship would be tempted to betray the other. Flaws in a relationship are overlooked. Because the positive aspects are worth keeping. Contented and happy with a relationship, you see no need to change anything. Um, I feel like this person could have like one like ride or die. Like maybe this could be a man. They have one person that is really like dedicated to them. And this this one person is still lingering around. This one person has not yet turned their back on them and stuff like that. So they really holding on to this person. But they not good to this person. Like they mean to them, short temper with them. Um I feel like right now they're trying to be like on a best behavior because they don't want to push away like the one person that they have left, but they so used to getting away with mistreating people that they don't even know how. They don't know how to respect anybody. They don't know how to give equal give and take. They don't know how. Um, but this person that is attached to them um, this person has very, 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 very low self-esteem. Um, this person has a very traumatic background. Um, um, this is definitely a trauma bonding situation. Um, is very unbalanced. But this person is trying to stick it out, stick it out with them and everything, even trying to help them. They could be even doing like rituals together. I'm seeing like sex rituals. They really trying to like either summon something. They're trying to like, Summon something. Mm. What are they trying to summon? See, this is like building an altar. It was reversed though. What are they trying to summon? Mm, more reverse. Zombie car came out. They are doing graveyard magic. Trying 
Child, I'm going to have to look up the meaning to these cards. And then after that, I'm going to wrap it up. And you know what? I'm going to turn this into a standalone, my bad. Let's look at the zombie car first. Hmm. Went straight to it. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> the will has left. Purpose has fled, nothing moves within the head, nothing moves through stagnant emptiness, quiet water drips on rank stone, all is decay, footsteps sound leading nowhere, here the dark will not come and light will not shine. There are at least two distinct forms of zombie and voodoo, just as there are two forms or types of sacrifice within esoteric tradition. Sacrifice will be forced or voluntary. Um, so this person, what I'm really getting from this card is that um uh this person could be sacrificing a person um and divinations uh sacrifice externally motivated and enforced question a will and the question of a will calls resolve to decay and failure of the spirit in our body mm. I feel like the reason why it came out reverse is because it didn't work. Mm. I think they tried like two or three times too. Like the first time they could have tried it with like an animal, a lamb. And then they tried it again. Ooh. I'm hearing a child. I'm hearing a child. Oh, I didn't even look up the other ones. Let's see. Mm. so mm. the divination meaning is favorable outcome when the last words are said and the last things done but this came out reverse because it did not work but see how it came out with zombie so and it said favorable outcome when the last words are said and the last things are done so they did two sacrifices and it did not work They really confuse um, 
it's actually starting to make them believe in something. Um, Cause they feel like spirit completely turned their back on the, this person feel like spirit turned its back on them. Yeah, so it said, this is the land to which the newly dead travel. First came out zombie, and then this car. So this person off somebody just to get this. Like, they was looking for some type of opportunity. They was looking for a way out of this. Um, They was looking for some form of protection. Okay, let, let's look at this. One right here. Yeah, okay, so this person was trying to make some type of offering to, like, a deity or something, and the deity, like, completely rejected it. And I feel like it has to do with your spiritual ranking. Like, this deity just, just did not want to be involved, whatever this shit is. Um, and I feel like this person, they don't really understand that. Uh, because they so used to shit just working. Um, it's like they can't really comprehend why it wouldn't work. And this person could be very skilled, very educated on this shit, but they have a disconnect from spirit. Um, and some of these entities would not work with this person just because they don't respect them. They don't respect their cause and they also feel like this person shouldn't have any form of power because they would definitely abuse it. Like, spirit is turning their back on this person because they don't feel like this person will be useful in any form or shape. Um, and it's something else. There's a, a change that is happening right now. And... um. This person is looking though They looking for something I'm seeing somebody like drinking And they like They got their heads in a lot of books Like they going through They researching a lot of books And everything They trying to find Some type of help Because uh, Their life is falling apart this person could even be, like, afraid to, like, go places. Um, and even when they do go places, they kind of, like, looking over their shoulder. Um, they don't feel secure. They don't feel protected. They feel very vulnerable to attacks. And I feel like even the attacks are taken. And they wasn't before, but they are now. That's why I feel like uh, it's a possibility that this person will not be living long. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed, y'all.